Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we're going over everything you need to know about how to find acorns and pine cones faster, along with some tips and tricks to help you find even more seasonal DIY recipes. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So as you know, the autumn season is upon us and since the start of September in the Northern Hemisphere, we are now able to find and collect new acorns and pine cones crafting materials and use them to craft all of the awesome seasonal tree bounty DIY recipes. Now this video is going to be broken into two halves with the first looking at the most efficient and quickest way to find these new seasonal materials and the second looking at how we can find their corresponding recipes even quicker. Of course we all play the game differently and at different paces but hopefully even the experienced players out there will discover something new. So please be sure to leave a like on the video it helps out so much and let's get into it. Crafting materials. Now both acorns and pine cones are found in hardwood trees and cedar trees respectively and are found by continuously shaking trees. In total to craft all of these seasonal recipes once we need a total of 35 acorns and 31 pine cones and even more if you want to craft more than one. Unfortunately as you may have already discovered both acorns and pine cones are fairly rare and spawn nowhere near the same rate as past seasonal materials and sometimes it feels like you're only ever finding tree branches. Now based on multiple reports as well as my own testing it seems the drop rates for these crafting materials are somewhere between 3% and 9% for most people. Of course it is random and there's almost certainly a luck factor so some players will find more than others. Now the single best tip to maximize how many acorns or pine cones you find is to repeatedly shake every tree available until a total of 14 materials have dropped. To do this you need to keep shaking your tree until 8 items drop then switch sides and continue to shake until the remaining 6 fall. This will yield the maximum amount of items from each tree and of course increase your chances of finding more acorns or pine cones. Just make sure you have enough space around each tree. Now unlike the wood we get from inside the trees when you use an axe there doesn't seem to be a limit to how many tree branches or acorns and pine cones that can fall so in reality you can use a single tree over and over again by picking up all the dropped items and starting over. However using multiple trees around your island will make things a little less tedious. Plus we don't really know if drop rates differ from tree to tree so there's no reason not to try this on multiple trees to see if one drops more than another. Now from each tree you will get a total of 14 items from around 30 shakes and up to 3 of these will either be acorns or pine cones so it's literally a case of shaking until you get bored. Now it's worth noting acorns can be found in all hardwood trees including both fruit trees and money trees they just won't drop anything until the fruit or bell bags have been shaken down. Furthermore if for some reason you don't have many trees available or you have a fully developed island and they're all blocked off by fences and furniture you can also head on island tours and shake the trees there to find these crafting materials. And that's pretty much everything you need to know, hopefully learning you can shake trees from both sides helps you find even more acorns and pine cones because some trees will have up to 3 acorns or pine cones in at one time. DIY Recipes now collecting all of these seasonal crafting materials is fun and all but in order to use them you need to find the corresponding seasonal DIY recipes so you can craft one of these awesome looking tree bounty items. In total there are 11 tree bounty items available however only 9 of them can be found right now. Both the tree bounties large tree and the tree bounties arch recipes which are probably the most desirable autumn items won't begin spawning until the 16th of November. So if you're struggling to find them, that's why. These two recipes require a third crafted material called maple leaves which begins spawning around our islands in the middle of November and until maple leaves can be collected the large tree and arch recipes won't spawn. With that said there are still 9 tree bounties recipes to find. These recipes are most commonly found in the balloons that float across our skies. The best tip to collect as many recipes as you can is to essentially farm the balloons in a balloon hunt and shoot down every single one. 
To do this, all you have to do is hang around on your beach, running up and down and just wait. A balloon should spawn into our islands every five minutes, so if you run along the shore until one floats in, you'll be there ready to shoot it down. If you do a spot of fishing or something like that, you'll collect a bunch of presents in no time, and hopefully they will contain new recipes. If for some reason a balloon isn't spawning in, there is a trick that allows you to force a new one to spawn by heading into Nook's Cranny and selling something before heading back to the beach, at which point a new balloon will spawn in on the next available 5 minute slot. Anyway, we don't know the exact drop rate of these recipes, but it has been suggested that there's a 15% chance each balloon will contain a seasonal DOI recipe, so if you're lucky enough, you may even find them all over a couple of days. Just remember you need to wait around on the left edge of the beach during the day as balloons float in from the west, but during the evening and night time they spawn in from the east, so you need to wait around on the right side. A good tip if you need to remember which directions balloons are coming in from is to look at the smoke coming from villagers chimneys, because whatever way the smoke is blowing is the directions the balloons will be heading. Of course these seasonal DIY recipes can also be found in the message bottles that wash up on our beaches, so be sure to find at least one every day. Furthermore if you happen to have a bunch of spare Nook Miles tickets, be sure to head on a few island tours because there's around a 50% chance additional bottles can be found on island tours, so it'd be good to take a break from the balloon hunting. And finally, it's worth noting that any other profiles or secondary residents who also live on your island can also find their own balloons and bottles, so be sure to use them to find any extras, and hopefully you'll find some seasonal recipes you don't already have. And there we have it, that's pretty much everything you should know about this season's limited time recipes and their crafting materials. Hopefully this will help some of you find even more acorns and pine cones, as well as finding seasonal DIY recipes a lot faster. Of course, if you have any other tips you think we should know or helpful tricks you'd like to share, let us know. But what do you think about these tips? Did you know you could get 14 items from trees? And have you used the balloon hunting trick before? Let us know in the comments below. Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any New Horizons news. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, as well as this channel's members. You guys absolutely rock and truly, truly help me upload it as regularly as I do. I couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you made it to the end of the video, please comment SHAKE. Just to let me know you did, that would be super awesome. And please be sure to include which tree bounties item is your favourite and how many pine cones you've already found. I'd love to know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.